Today is the beginning of a brand new travel series. We are heading to Kathmandu, Nepal. Let's go. Hello. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So guys, I'm actually in Dubai right now and I'm gonna be taking just about a four hour flight. It's like 8 a.m. right now, so I'm super tired because I was up the whole night. But it's only like four hours from Dubai and we're already in Kathmandu. So we're taking a bus right over there and then we will hop on the airplane from there. Guys, so just got off the bus and we're going to be boarding the plane. As you can see, it is a beautiful day here in... Hello, my friends. As you guys can see, it's a beautiful day here in Dubai. I think it's going to be a really nice flight. About four and a half hours to get us over to Nepal. And we're going to start an amazing YouTube series. Guys, I've been waiting to go here for years. I don't know why it took me like three years of traveling to finally made it, make it. But we made it and we are boarding the plane now. You guys, I don't think I'm gonna get as lucky as the last flight where I got the entire road of myself to sleep. Seems like it's much more full than my uh, last flight I was on, but I'm gonna be right here in the back. I think 29A is there. Alright guys, namaste and welcome to Nepal. I have just made it here. Luckily, I slept the entire four hour flight, so that made it go by really fast. I've basically been traveling for like 15 hours, so to be able to sleep on two flights, I got pretty lucky because it flew by, but I didn't share like anything with you on the flight here. But let me tell you, Nepal is going to be amazing. Flying into this airport, there were mountains surrounding us and such an incredible view. I hear the people here are amazing, so let's head on over and check into this place. So basically right when you walk in you got to show your uh, PCR test and vaccination card before you go over to the customs. When you walk in there's like the uh, different spots if you're getting visa on arrival you got to go over here and pay the uh, visa on arrival fee. Guys before you do that you actually have to go and apply at one of these machines here. So if you want to save a bunch of time do this online. Because as you can see if you're the last one off the plane it's not going to be easy. Alright basically after you choose your like 15, 30 or maybe 45 day visa then you take a photo on your phone of that and then you go back over to the visa fee collection counter and if you don't have money there's an atm there there's also an exchange and they also accept it in like 20 something different currencies so this is where we're gonna pay and then head in so guys uh now that you know the secret tips and tricks you don't have to uh wait like i did if you can fill out your online application first they'll save you like 20 30 minutes especially if you get off the plane last if you do bring uh, more than $50 cash, you can get change, and so they give you change in the local currency. So I got my first uh, Nepalese rupees, and uh, here we go. All right, just went through another round of security. Baggage claim is right here, and I think this leads us right outside. It's a pretty small airport for being in the capital, or at least this terminal is pretty small. Namaste, brother. Can I please exchange uh, 100? Okay. So $100? Yes, please. 1,700 gains. Thank you, brother. Donny Avad. Uh, how much are the SIM cards? Sorry? So, how much are the SIM cards? Validity data. Uh, we got uh, 40 gigs. Is it much more expensive at the airport? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Just fly to hmm? Fly the way, no? Fly the way, yeah. Are you coming from fly, fly the way? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Fly the way, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Guys, so when you walk a little bit further out here, it looks like we've got a couple other competitors right here. And it seems like the prices are much better here. So we got a data price of 500, which is less than half the price. You have a good, good signal, brother? Good cell signal? What are you visiting? Uh, I'm visiting Nepal and Pokhara. Uh, sorry, Kathmandu and Pokhara. Okay. And it's good? Uh, the best? The best? Yes. Oh, perfect. Can I do uh, 50 gigabytes, please? Sure. 
Uh, just uh, Kathmandu and Pokhara. You are not going to the base camp, no? Maybe a helicopter tour, that's it. No hiking. The, 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 the SIM card will not work in the base camp and the um, high mountainous region. The okay. It will work on the base area and the area and that's why. Perfect. Thank you so much. Alright, so how do I do it? Fill out this form? Yeah. 56? Oh, so extra. Ah. Danibad. All right, well, that means uh, so passport, yep. This, this price is only data price. Perfect, data only. Yeah, let's do data only. First, you need to purchase the SIM card. After purchasing the SIM card, I will activate the data. The SIM card costs 100 rupees for you. And the data is around 555 is written is there. And I will be charged up 600 rupees. And 600 plus 180, I'll be saving it. All right. So this pricing sheet's a little inaccurate then. So you hear that, guys? Basically, uh, 550 doesn't include the SIM card. If you arrived in Nepal and you somehow have your own SIM card already, then you could do a recharge. Do you have one passport size photo? Uh, no. Okay. I'll take one photo, okay? You. Perfect. Yeah. Danivad. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's only half of them. This is your passport. Thank you. Oh, so seven hundred, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. And this is 1000. Oh, okay. So it's a good, really good price here then. Working? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Your data package. Data package. All right. Perfect. Donnie, bye bye. Thank you. Guys, so I just got a uh, SIM card here. I was totally confused on the prices when I was saying that like 1200 was expensive. <laughs> I did some calculation completely incorrect in my mind, probably because I haven't slept. But uh, I paid 700 for 40 gigs, which in US dollars, I'm doing the calculation right here, $5.36, so really, really good a price. Even if you go to the first one, that was 1200 for 40 gigs, that was $9.19. So, anyways, you'll pay much lower if you're not gonna have a lot of data. Obviously, I'm a YouTuber, so I uh, I use a lot of data. But uh, yeah, whoops, way cheaper than I thought. So really good price. You can get all your stuff made, taken care of at the airport. You walk further down this way, you can even find more uh, uh, SIM card shops. I will say though, double check with them where you're going because I'm only going to the cities on this trip as of now. So uh, like the service for the SIM card I got wouldn't work up there. But in the city, since I'm going to Pokhara and Kathmandu, then it'll work for both of them. Looks like we've even got some tour operators right there and prepaid taxi service down there. How do we get down there? Maybe this way? Oh, thank you so much. Here it is. Kathmandu, it's been a while. Feels great to be here, I must say. And we are walking out. I think we walk all the way down that way to find a taxi, if you don't have a prepaid taxi. All right, and here we go. We are going to see if we can bargain for a taxi for 500. That is what our hotel said we should pay. But a lot of the times, if you don't book ahead, they want to, uh, oh, looks like got a lot of pickups over here. A lot of the times they'll try and charge a bit more. So we're gonna cruise over here to the taxi area down there, see if we can find 500. And oh, it's pretty busy over here at the airport. But honestly, for the middle of the day, not too, not too crowded. Oh, it's perfect temperature here, guys, in November. Oh, it feels so good to be walking out here like a light sweater and pants and I'm carrying just a backpack. My first time ever doing a multi-week trip with just a backpack. So I'm excited for it. Now we gotta see if we can find ourselves a taxi over here. All right, 
right, let's see here. Seems like these guys are prepaid taxis. Hello, my friend. Uh, how much? How much to go to Tamil? Tamil. Yeah. You dollar or Nepali? A uh, Nepali. One thousand. One thousand. Okay. My hotel said five hundred. No. No. Okay. Thank you. Hello. One thousand. Uh, no. Not here today. One thousand. My uh, my hotel said five hundred. No, sir. This is eight hundred uh, Nepali money, sir. Eight hundred uh, rupees. Five hundred. Very, very small price, sir. No problem. I'll keep looking, brother. Thank you so much. Guys, we're gonna keep looking here if we can find ourselves a taxi for. 500. Maybe we'll go over here to the parking lot. Oh, it seems like right when you walk out of here, you can get the uh, Burger House crunchy fried chicken. And oh, you even got yourself a uh, PCR lab over there. Uh, let's see. So if you're hungry right when you hop off the plane, you got a bunch of options right here. We got Little Nepal, we got a gift shop even right when you walk in, and a couple other shops. Exit entry. Maybe this will take us to a spot to get a uh, good priced cab this way. Oh, we got a dog sleeping right here. All right, let's see if we can find ourselves a taxi. Right. It looks like we got a lot of street stands right outside of here. Right when you walk out. And we'll see if we can find ourselves a taxi over here. Also, they drive on the left side of the road. All right. Well, that's good to know. Hello, brother. Uh, how much to go to Tamil? 500. Perfect. Uh, you know Friends Hotel? Oh, let's hop in. Oh, look at that, guys. First guy we go up to right when we walk outside the airport. 500. Namaste. Namaste. So, guys, it looks like it is 17 minutes to get us to Friends Hotel where I'm going to be staying at. And, uh, yeah, the nice part is right when you walk outside of the airport, just go a little bit further. Everyone's going to be coming up, too, if you want to get, like, the uh, actual price for it. And like I said, the reason why I know this is because the, the hotel that I'm staying at was so nice. They sent me a couple messages on WhatsApp and they said, we can either take care of you for a prepaid taxi or you can get one from there. And I was like, oh, uh, what's the cost? And they told me, oh, it's 500 that you'll uh, pay. So uh, yeah, you just walk right out there outside like the exit point. It's super easy to find. And then once you're there, then you just basically flag one down on the street or one will be stopped just like it was for me. So now we're cruising over there and we're gonna be showing you guys where we're gonna be staying at. But look at this, the uh, the city is bustling right now. Honestly, I miss this busyness. It kind of gives me a you know similar feeling, obviously, to India being a country that borders it. With just a lot going on, horns honking. Kathmandu, it's been a while. So yeah, guys, you can see they're doing a lot of road construction over here in this area. Seems like they're putting in some fresh new roads here. Wow, imagine being an electrician. Imagine being an electrician that has to uh, find the right wire. Oh, that's got to be challenging. Oh, guys, as we're cruising through, I'm seeing so many like street stalls, so many places to uh, buy some items so many delicious food spots. I am so, so excited for this trip. Everyone's been telling me about the momos here. And let me tell you, I love dumplings and they have their own Nepalese twist to them. So this is gonna be incredible. We're gonna be in for a treat. When you hit traffic here in Nepal, it basically comes to a uh, complete dead stop. I think our guy even turned off the uh, taxi. That just means we're gonna be here for a while. Still trying to figure out how some of these stoplights work because I don't know if you guys can see but in the distance there we've got a uh, blinking yellow light which in uh, most countries I've been to usually yellow means like proceed with caution but here it must be in like wait I guess given all the cars are waiting right now 
Uh, there's our answer. We have the uh, police officer sending people through. So that's why the uh, lights aren't being used. Probably because it's super busy at this time. I mean, just look at how many bikes right there are uh, pulled up. Got to sneak right through there. And oh yeah, we've got some good places we're going to be visiting here real soon. Look at this, what is this one? Seems like a super large kind of like lake right there in the middle with a fountain. Definitely we're gonna be coming back to this area. Namaste. I was gonna say, we got the nice close fit, but we got the bus right there. Looks like the bus isn't gonna be able to fit through there though. Bus is barely making it through there. What is that, a school bus right there? Little Angel School, yeah, yeah. Big yellow school bus. So now we know they uh, paint their school buses yellow here too. What I'm already seeing is all the uh, country pride. I'm seeing a lot of cars that have like uh, the Nepalese flag on it, which is awesome. But it looks like we've got some sort of delivery system here. A motorbike carrying a big flag up top there. So our, our guy doesn't know exactly where Friends Hotel where I'm staying at is, but we're, I haven't told him any directions and we're four minutes away. So the Tamil area must be small enough where I'll get close enough where I can walk there if it's hard to explain the directions, but I don't mind doing a little walking, especially now that I'm carrying only one backpack with me, which I'm honestly like, why didn't I start doing this before? <laughs> Look at this, they're turning this entire bus around right here. Wow. Namaste. Look at this. Look at this traffic pile up here. And they have a tiny little amount of room to basically squeeze that bus right into there. And looks like they successfully got it. Looks like they got the bus out of there. Wow. All right. I'm sure it's not easy to drive a uh, bus around the streets of Kathmandu on a busy day. You know, it's like midday right now, uh, 4 p.m. Not midday, but you know, afternoon. Everyone's getting off work, leaving school. And I think we're arriving to the Tamil area. Uh, left here, brother. Left here, by. Let's see if we can get through here. Oh, that's going to be a tight squeeze again. See, some of these roads, if I were driving right now, I would probably think it's a one-way. But you just gotta make it fit. Oh yeah, this looks like Tamil. Oh, so we've got all types of vehicles. We've got cars, we've got a bike with a little wagon on the back there. Looks like a pallet board on the back of that thing. And then, yeah, this is the street though guys, take a look, quite a cool street this way. Donnie Vadbai, there's an extra hundred for uh, honest price, thank you so much. Donnie Vadbai. All right, in the last few steps, we're gonna walk ourselves there. Figured I could have told him to go down this way, but we got stuck in so much traffic, I'm sure our guy needed to go back and uh, make some more cash. So, figured get some exercise here after sitting in the plane for four hours and then a four hour flight before that. And uh, then I think our hotel is gonna be right down here. Seems like this is the hotel area. We've got Hotel Mountain Gateway, Hotel Asho Home, and a couple other ones further down that way. Namaste. Oh, that smells delicious. I'm going to come back by. And down here, let's see. Hotel Friends Home, that's the one. There we go. So basically, I found this one, guys, on booking.com because it had a really good, uh, really good rating and also a great price. I think I'm paying 20 US dollars per night. And this is it, right outside. 
Namaste, bye. Hello. Hey, wow, all right, you knew me. Yes. Hey, namaste, namaste, bye. Namaste. Hey. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet Mr. you. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you yeah. Thank what, you very much for choosing us. Yeah, thank you so much. You're Raj? Yeah. I'm, hey, I'm, Raj. Nice to meet you. All right. I know you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So please, can you check in the phone? Uh, yep. Yeah, that sounds great. The small, uh, you know, economy room, but yeah. we have upgraded to the deluxe room. Oh, Raj, the man. Yeah. Hooking it up. Thank yeah. you. Bye. On the top floor, next to the garden. Room. Oh, thank you right. so it's much. Nice Jeez, you guys are taking care. No so, you guys, I told you when I found this place on Booking.com, nine stars. Thank you. Nine out of ten. So I was like, I definitely got to stay here. So really good price. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. And this is the uh, lobby here, guys. So right when you walk in, you got some comfortable couches. You got the um, uh, Buddhist uh, statues here on the wall. We have some paintings here of Everest, which are beautiful. Yeah, that's amazing. And then over here, oh yeah, this must be where the breakfast is. Namaste, bye. Namaste. And all right, so this will be where we'll be having a couple meals here. All right, fantastic. Oh, see, guys, there it is, proof right there. Booking.com yeah. 9.2. Yep. We have the studio also. Oh, and hotels.com yeah, 9.3. Oh, okay, nice. And nice. we are winner of the TripAdvisor also. Uh, TripAdvisor, all right. Yeah. So you guys got all the awards yeah. here. That's amazing. TripAdvisor. Yeah, that's really nice. Thank you. Yeah, so you own it? Uh, no, I'm the manager. Manager, okay, manager. very nice, nice. Yeah. That's great thank to meet you, Raj. Yeah, yeah thank, you. thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Ho, oh, oh, perfect. We got the coffee right here. Oh, your name? It's Obian. Obian, nice yes, to meet you, Obian. Yeah. You're from uh, Kathmandu? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Yes. I'm excited to be here. It looks like a nice city. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, so oh, yeah, the earthquake just happened. Yeah. And that happened in what city? Yeah. The what city was the earthquake? It was in uh, the Dodi district. Rodi district? Yeah, Dodi. Do oh, Dodi district. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. Killing, killing six in Dodi. This happened just a couple days ago here, guys, right before I arrived. Really, really sad here. It didn't um, affect Kathmandu because Kathmandu is much further east. Yeah. Doti is on the west side, yeah? Yeah, yeah west side. Yeah. Oh, you're going to get my first Nepalese coffee going. That's going to get us going for the afternoon uh, energy, yeah? Yeah. I, I, I got it, okay? Oh. I, I so, subscribe. Oh, thank you. Daniel. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, perfect. Oh, this, thank you for choosing us. Yeah, thank you. Follow, thank yeah. you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, guys, this is how you cure no sleep. Ah, that is nice. So guys, it's my first time checking out a uh, Nepalese newspaper, and everything is in English, so it makes it uh, easy for me to read here. And interestingly enough, they actually post the COVID figures in here. So the amount of tests taken, the amount of cases, the amount of people in isolation recovered, and the amount of deaths. And they also even have some of the top, or let's say not top, but most traded foreign currencies and what they're buying and selling at. Just all on the front page there. And then obviously the story we just showed you there with the quake and then some of the other news in this basically side of the world. It's really interesting. Like uh, something I've never really done is when I arrive somewhere is thought of like looking at a newspaper, but it's definitely a great way to kind of get an idea of how things are reported on. That's if you're lucky enough to have, find a newspaper in English, depending on the country you're in. But uh, yeah, very interesting to check this out. Actually, even here, this uh, short take it is, fishermen sails past a dead tree trunk as rising sea levels are destroying homes built on the shoreline. Very interesting, right? Uh, forcing villagers to relocate. But they're reporting this story all the way on Mexico on the front page. Ah, coffee done, guys. That was a nice welcome drink and wow. Thank you. We're back and we're feeling good. Nice, nice and awake now. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. The one thing I found interesting about uh, Kathmandu is that, uh, for example, like in, in Lebanon where I just flew from, it's three hours and 45 minutes behind. Here it's like 45 minutes ahead. 45. Yeah. All right, let's get checked in. Uh, Donny about Raj, yeah, no thank problem. you so much. I, I really appreciate it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Next to your room, there's a garden. A garden, oh, all right, perfect. I'm excited to check it out. Thank you so much. So yeah, guys, this is uh, 
the area walking right up. Oh, we've even got the uh, Nepal map. So if we want to check out some of the places we're going to go, we can do that on our way downstairs. And they have this place decorated nicely. Paintings on every level. We're going to get our uh, exercise in for the amount of momos we're going to be eating the next few days. Oh, this building's tall. We are definitely getting the penthouse, my friends. Oh, so we're the only one on the top floor? Yeah. Sweet. Thank you so much. And this is our garden. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh we've got a garden here. Awesome. So a nice little hangout area right at sunset. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You too. So yeah guys, this is the garden area right up here. That's really nice. Right up top, we've got some uh, spots to lounge around on. Have a nice cup of tea out here. And it's cozy guys, you're right in the city. You've got the airplanes flying over. Can see neighbors inside the windows there. And uh, I believe this is my room on the other side. We've got a bunch of uh, Nepalese photos here. Some of them are a little burnt out from the sun, but it adds a cool touch to it. It shows those have been there for a while. And you can even make a phone call up there if you want. And then here is the room, guys. So Raj was really nice. Uh, he hooked it up. I'm paying $20 per night for the basic room. It was so nice. Like, uh, like I told you, before I arrived here, uh, they were just messaging me on WhatsApp because like, I, I heard about the earthquake that happened. And so I was like, oh, did that affect Kathmandu? You know, I was just checking to make sure, uh, you know, it's still okay to visit. And yeah, then he told me, no, it's not affecting. But uh, he was so nice. He kept saying, oh, welcome to Nepal. Hope you have an amazing time. Just like, I heard the hospitality here and like the kindness of the people is amazing. And um, that's what I've experienced so far. Like the fact that I walked in, didn't even say much, and we already got a nice upgrade. And for $20 a night, guys, we've got a nice setup here. We've got the shower there. We got the uh, Western style toilet. Uh, we have shampoos, body lotions. Water pressure is good enough there. And multiple lights there. We've even got a little TV so we can put on some Netflix. And let's check out this bed. Oh yeah. Oh. If it wasn't for that coffee, I'd honestly probably fall asleep right now. Cause even though like I slept on the plane, you know how it goes like sleeping on the plane. <laughs> two four hour flights and I slept, one of them was three and a half hours and I slept for most of them, but like it's not full sleep, but it's enough where like my body feels like sort of refreshed. But yeah, this is the uh, room here guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get settled in and then it'll be time to explore. Got that thing locked. And now we can head over to the garden. All right, find a nice little spot to take a seat. see here we can test out one of these spots to chill so you guys I wanted to show you here the uh, Nepalese money because it's gonna one help uh, you guys understand what each currency is worth and it's gonna like give me some practice here so I know how much I'm spending so we've got the biggest bill which I've gotten here which is the 1,000 the 1,000 is is seven dollars and sixty six cents so that's the 1,000 rupee note then we have the 500 rupee note, which is $3.83. And then we have the 100, which is about 76 US cents, US dollar cents, is that how you'd say it? I think so. And then we have the 50, which is about 38 cents. And then we have the 10. The 10 is seven cents. So, all of this together is probably like fifteen dollars, maybe seven, ten, no, like maybe eleven dollars. So now I understand it, but like to show you a little bit closer, the bills are pretty cool. Like this is the uh, back of the one thousand. It smells like a U.S. dollar bill. It's freshly printed. I I had a bunch of these that uh, I just exchanged, and this one was like the cleanest. So it's got that new money smell. It's got a very similar feeling to the US dollars. And then obviously you have those two elephants right there, which I love that. 
Elephants are like some of the most majestic animals. And then on this side, you actually have uh, Mount Everest. So that's pretty cool. And then on the 500, I wonder if they changed them. Oh yeah, yeah. So here on the 500, this is an older 500 bill. This is the only 500 bill I have, but there's actually a tiger on it. And then also on the front, we have Everest. I think on all the bills, it looks like they, yeah, on all the fronts of the bills, they put the uh, Everest on there, but it seems like what they change for each one, obviously the uh, currency amount, but they, yeah, they, they put different uh, animals on each one. So this one, we have the uh, rhino on it. How's it going, brother? This one, they have the rhino on it. And this one, it looks like it's maybe like a bobcat or some sort of like mountain lion looking animal. And then on the 10, I think that's an antelope. I'm not sure, I can't remember my animals at this point, but that's really cool. Some like uh, designs I've never seen before on like foreign currency, or if I've had currency with them, I haven't noticed, but that's pretty cool. Oh, but that's pretty cool. That is all the notes for you. So right over here, I noticed when we were showing you the garden, we didn't go up these stairs. Looks like they've got a spiral staircase leading up. Oh, that's probably like water tank, water heaters maybe. And then the views, you can see the uh, city a little bit better. I noticed that uh, a lot of these buildings over here have the spiral staircases to get to the top. But it's a super cool architecture, like this building right here. It's got that like Nepalese, like probably slightly Chinese influence on some of the architecture. I'm, I'm no expert when it comes to architecture, but that's kind of the vibe it gives me. And it seems like there's some interesting buildings. I don't know if that one right there is like a lookout tower or what it is, but yeah, there's gonna be a lot of exploring we're gonna be doing here in Nepal, so I cannot wait. So guys, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. That was a small little intro, arriving to Kathmandu, Nepal, which I'm super excited for, guys. Like, being here, I can just feel the energy of the fast-paced lifestyle, the amount of things going on everywhere, and it's gonna be a great time. So make sure you guys tune in. I'm gonna be posting so many videos here in Nepal, and we're gonna be exploring so many things, specifically in Kathmandu over the next couple videos, and then after that, we'll be moving over to Pokhara. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.